Welcome to another episode of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name's Adam Hansen. I'm Anthony Deco. When we're dealing with these RTUs, most of the access is going to be located in the front side compared to the back side. These service panels that you see all along the front are important because they protect the interior components that are vital to the function of the operation. Sometimes we're going to have to take these off and with newer units you're going to have a lot of times the quarter turn uh, kind of hinge type and that's going to be very easy to take off and remove and it should be on and off within a few seconds. However, when we get called out for a 911 response, we're usually dealing with older type units. It's just like a car. An old car is going to break down compared to a new car, right? So when we're dealing with these units, we're going to have to take off sheet metal type screws. The screws you will encounter will generally be sized at a quarter inch. Others may be 5 16 of an inch. To assist us in our investigation, there is a simple tool all firefighters should carry in their pockets, the 6-in-1 screwdriver. The 6-in-1 screwdriver comes with both the 5 16 and quarter inch nut drivers, which allows us for quick access to service panels that utilize screws. At times, HVAC technicians may replace missing sheet metal screws with just about anything they have in their pockets. This could mean being presented with a flathead or a Phillips head style screwdriver. With the 6-in-1 screwdriver, you can access both your quarter inch and your 5 16 inch nut driver, plus your Phillips and your flathead, which allows you access every time to these rooftop units. Instead of carrying up a heavy cumbersome toolbox up a ground aerial or access ladder, this light, inexpensive tool is going to save you a lot of time, frustration, and in the end, bring the incident under control a lot quicker and release your units from the scene. Again, my name's Adam Hansen. I'm Anthony Deco. And thanks for tuning in to another episode of Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.